Hello everybody, this is Alex and today I'm so privileged to be hosting the Q&A session with our sensational artist Mengyu Sukri and uh, my co-host Ben Damienla and uh, we have received a lot of uh, questions via Instagram, Messenger, Facebook and uh, also messages on the phone and we tried our best to answer to all the questions however we stick to the rule uh, which is you know any questions related to our artist so we have we might have skipped some couple of questions which is not related to our artist uh, so today we are here with a very interesting uh, question and answer session with our guest and uh, with this, I would like to welcome all the viewers to enjoy this Q&A session. Hi everybody, this is Mengu Shokriye and today sitting at the comfort of my home in Kohima, I will be answering to some of the questions. Uh, thanks to Alex and Ian for, you know, giving me this opportunity and also I am very glad, feeling honored and privileged that there are some of you out there who wants to know me more so I hope and with all um, faithfulness and honesty I will answer all of your questions thank you very much guys now we have the first question and it's from one of Mengu's crush and his name is Shohei Lukend he asks as an artist what best advice do you want to give to the youngsters or upcoming artists who wish to be successful like you? Hey Sohilo Kent, I think I have miles to go and many more things to learn and achieve to be called successful but from the experiences that I've had all this time uh, the best advice that I can give to the younger ones or an aspiring uh, artist is that let's all work hard with this i want to also remind myself to be consistent and to work hard because without these two things even if we have the talent we cannot you know achieve or we cannot go ahead and compete with the rest of the world we know that people out there are very talented very hardworking, and very consistent in what they do and also if you have interest in a art then you should also take time to polish that and learn more about the art and you know that will help you to grow be consistent hardworking and be true to yourself that way everybody will be able to accept what you do we have the second question from Tia Wapang Ayer and he has asked Art Show Festival at Tuli was it the first time you explored in our area? Um, Tia Wabang Ayer, coming to Tuli for Arju Festival was definitely not my first time. I think it was two or three years ago I've been there at Tuli Town for a Christmas concert. We had so much fun and that area, that region is also beautiful. It's a very beautiful part of Nagaland and I really want to come back again. Now we have a question from Call Me Hulkip from Instagram he asked is she sure she will dance once she reaches 50k followers okay it's a how kip let me spill the truth honestly I wasn't serious about that dance after reaching 50k when I put it up on my bio I thought nobody will take it seriously it was just for fun and I mean like it just came to me and I just wrote it like that that's all but now that I have put it up I am getting messages and people are expecting so if I delete it or uh, try to escape that I guess I will disappoint a lot of people so what I'll do is do a victory dance of course why not after reaching that 50 Okay, it's a milestone so maybe I'll do a victory dance but not more than that so guys please please don't expect a professional 
dance because I'm not J-Lo, I'm not Jennifer Lopez, I'm not Shakira, I am not Chris Brown and I am not blah 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 blah. I'm not good at all in dancing but I'll just you know. That's all. That's all. Okay guys, please don't expect a good one. But if I reach 50k then Here I have another question for our uh, guest. This is from Y Kehito Sumi via Messenger. Uh, let me read out the question. Are you concerned about your fans' comment? Are you concerned about your fans' comment? So, be it on Instagram, be it on YouTube, be it on Facebook, when your fans comment anything, are you bothered about it or do you pay serious attention to it? Uh, what is your take on this? So, this is a very interesting question from a very genuine and uh, big fan of yours. Hmm. Am I concerned about my supporters' comments? Yes, I am very much concerned. I am very much grateful to all the comments that you guys put in. Sometimes you guys do drop in some uh, words that I think uh, will correct me or will guide me to become better. So I count all those and all the beautiful and kind words that you guys keep putting uh, in my in every post or even the silliest of the posts that I create. So I am thankful to all of you for not letting me be alone in that world, in that social media world. So thank you again and yes, I am concerned and I do try to like it and I try and I want to and as much as possible I want to reply back to all the comments and yeah, so thank you. And the next question that I have for you uh, is from Tem Suyenla via message. She says, who inspires you to become a singer? Wow. So this might take you back to the time when you finally decided to take music as a career. So yes, interesting. Well, um, to be very honest, initially as I was growing up, I didn't think or considered this as a career. I always wanted to be an air hostess. I don't know for what reason, but I really wanted to. But as I was growing up, I was uh, made to sing in my church platforms, then society gatherings, and then later I was given more opportunity in more stages in a bigger platform. So that's how I, you know, step by step got into this career. And once I was in, I am now so thankful that I'm in it. And who inspired me? Well, there are a lot of people who has inspired me. Um, say some international singers out there making it big from um, zero to now this big, you know, all those things. As well as one thing that really later as I was growing older, I could realize that this is one platform or this is one thing that I can use to reach out to a lot of people. I am not a good speaker. I cannot write. I cannot write a book. But I do have a lot of things in mind that I feel like sharing to the world, uh, to the people around me. So I thought that this is a great opportunity for me to express and to give out positivity and to reach out to people. So I chose this and now I'm in it and I'm very happy. Um, so yeah, if that answers your question. We have a question from John Kemu and he asks if you could go back and meet your younger self, then what advice would you give her? If I can go back and meet young Mengu, then I will tell her to be uh, more hardworking and also to take things seriously because I didn't. I wasn't hardworking at all. But as I grew, I realized that it's very important to be hardworking. Nothing comes easy. So yeah, that is one advice, big advice that I will tell young Mengu. If I had been a little more hardworking or to think seriously, then maybe I would be somewhere else today. Yeah, 
but no regret i learned from it so i'm fine now we have a very hilarious question from kaimang maka he says nana ma single as na double as e sadik no guru na ki so let's hear from our guest what she have to say on this kaimang naga nana ma de na kim sa ko it is single as e ho na pai tam de na pai kombo pai shi gol go bi de my name is Sajjus Kuldwede, I'm a Paisi Gunnede. I got a question from NC92. He asked, Is music the only thing that reaches to all the people in the world? You see, there are some people in the world who doesn't like music. Yes, it's surprising. How can a person not like music? But we cannot force them. Everybody has different interests. But apart from them, the rest of the world, the people, the majority, I think will agree to this point that music is one tool that can be used to reach out to a lot of people. We see there are a lot of people uh, and we personally also can relate to some music, to some songs and some instrumental. So yes, keeping it short, I do believe that it's one of the most important and one very strong tool that can be used to reach out to people. And I think the next question I have for you is uh, from Imti Zamir by Instagram. He says, how do you deal with criticism? This is very important, I guess. And he has given, he has quoted one example, like last time when you were helping that cute minister, you got trolled. So how did you overcome that? I think there's a very uh, critical and very important question that I'm sure our guest Mengu would like to you know, share her experience, how she overcomes or how she deals with trolling. Because in social media, everyone wants to troll, be it you know, uh, big way or small way. So I think it's, it's very challenging topic or let's say circumstances to deal with the trolling nature of this social media so yes we'd like to hear your story of how you deal with this and how you overcome this answering to this um, maybe I can try to act strong and say we don't care or it doesn't affect to be very honest uh, it does badly affect us because we are also human beings um, one thing that I want to request people out there is please be kind and please be careful of your words because you will say or write something or you know blame or accuse somebody and you just disappear but that mark that leaves a mark in the receiver's heart or mind for a long time and that can make a big damage we try to avoid I try to avoid it I try not to read it but I know all these things are going on, so it's bad, it is really bad. What will harm you if you are being kind or, you know, being positive? So how do I deal with it? There is no way, from the experience what I've learned is there is no way to deal with this. We live with this. We live with this. Now we have the last question from Sipong Kicho and he asks, if I work hard and become successful, and if I propose you, will you say yes? Guys, the evening is setting in, and uh, the background music is also getting louder and louder. But responding to, I guess, this is the last question. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is from Supon Kichu. <laughs> Will you accept my proposal if I become successful? Will you say yes? <laughs> uh, well, first of all, to accept your proposal, you know, if you are a successful person or if you are doing good, I think will come later. But the first thing is you and me as a person. Are we uh, compatible? Will we be the perfect couple? Can we help each other to grow? Can we make a good family? Can we, uh, you know, help each other to grow in life? I think those things matter first. 
then only you know your success or this and that will come in but you know the first thing is we have to know each other and if we think and if we click then why not why not yes then i'll say yes yes but uh if i say yes to you only to you only after your success then i think i'll eat only your success and not you as a good human being <laughs> so yeah i'll say yes if you write in your life for me thank you so much guys for watching till the end i'll see you all in the next video till then take care and god be with you bye